What's up, people? It's time to react to Rogue Diamond comic dub. Uh, yeah, I've this was uh, recommended to me a little while back, and I've been meaning to get to it because I've had a few people recommend it to me. And yeah, it's a comic dub, so I don't know what the comic is going to be about, though. Uh, yeah, Rogue Diamond. Something to do with rarity? <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be covering the prologue and chapters 1 through 4 in this video. Yeah. Uh, well, I really have nothing... I don't know what to expect. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna head right in, guys. Let's see how this is. 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, guys. Here is what you all were waiting for. <laughs> the full read of MLP Rogue Diamond. This is the prologue of the story. More dub parts will arrive soon. They're already here. A quick lesson in a darker oh part God, I gotta of turn this history. Up. I don't really remember it that well, but there was a time when citizens of the equestrian nation all laughed and played in the sun and slept under the watchful eye of the moon. But that was once upon a time ago. A distant memory. A hopeful dream, a wish upon the last star in the sky that flickers out into nothingness just as I wish. Are they humanoid? <laughs> Anthro? Be the way it used to be. Ten years ago, before the seeds of madness were sowed in Celestia's mind. Look, it's Luna! She's already here! Yay! Luna is the best princess! <laughs> oh, they are humanoid. <laughs> when Luna had been recently released from a prison on the moon, the ponies of Equestria were. Okay. It's really her. I don't think She's I'll be talking so much during this. Can you sign my dolly? She connected well with her subjects. And the relating. She is very pretty. Every pony is happy. Every pony. Except one. Hmm. Celestia? Such insolence. Moonlit night. What do you make of this? This is an interesting take. Why do you allow them to get so close to her? I'm not really sure what you mean, Princess. She's merely socializing with her subjects. Nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong. She's planning something. I can feel it. Hmm. What do you mean? Well, just... Just look at her, Knight. The way she dresses. <laughs> she talks so easily with my subjects. This isn't my shy little sister that I banished to the moon. You're suspicious of Luna. Perhaps... She has changed. This is really anime. <laughs> Perhaps she's changed into a traitorous little wretch. <gasps> Your Highness, Jesus. you don't really think that, D do you? I don't expect you to understand this moment. I want you to keep an eye on my sister for me and report anything suspicious. If she's planning to overthrow me, then she'll have to face the Why, why don't you trust her? I guess she... Months, Last time you saw her... Celestia's paranoia grew more and more deadly. She could hardly sleep and started having mad dreams of her sister rallying her subjects in a revolution. Oh. After all... That'd be interesting to see. Had tried to overthrow her once. Who could say that she wouldn't try again? Oh God, she's going insane. We just have to find out what it is. <laughs> She won't get away with this. She won't. Celestia could no longer rule with love, knowing her subjects loved her sister more. So she decided to rule with fear and did something unthinkable. She increased the temperature of the sun to a deadly degree. She's just gonna kill everyone? <laughs> what? The rays burnt through the forest and melted the ice of the mountains. And thus began Why? the first of many great floods. So many were lost in the last few hours. The First. water level rose rapidly, while its victims were pulled down to a watery grave, sleeping forever at the bottom of the forming ocean. How is this going to help more life boats out there? Stop Luna. Cities were lost, and ponies tried desperately to find higher ground. Hold on! <laughs> Luna, of course, tried to reason with her maddening sister. Gee, you have to stop this! Ponies are dying! It's 
too late, little sister. Your plan to overthrow me will never come to be. Huh? What are you talking about? Overthrow you? I never wanted to overthrow you. You're my sister! You can't what, treat me with What'd you get banished to the moon for? What's done is done, and I win! How do you win? You're the world's insane. destroyed. Insane! <laughs> <laughs> His voice acting. It's so cute that you think that. I can't let you get away with this. I will stop you. Then you will fail. And this time, I won't be sending you to the moon. Oh, fuck. I've heard a laser sound effect. Something's wrong in the throne room. Stop right there, Moonlit. No pony can pass. What? But, Princess Luna! Her Majesty Princess Celestia has given us strict orders to not allow any pony into the throne room. Luna! Luna fought hard and valiantly against her sister. But it would prove to be futile effort. <laughs> futile? She could not harm her own sister. But her sister had no problem harming her. Defeated in combat against her superior sister, Luna's body was cast into the groaning ocean. And this is moving fast for a prologue. So oh, I guess, yeah, I forgot it was a prologue. Again. It makes sense to move fast in a prologue. You were a fool to try and stop me. But don't worry. Your death will be a march here for a new world order. Nowhere. No pony will ever try to defy my reign. Fear. Who would try and stop the goddess who flooded the world? <laughs> huh. <laughs> so Celestia is a deranged goddess in this <laughs> that just wants to watch the world burn, well, flood. interesting take <laughs> and it's it, this is very anime <laughs> i think i haven't seen much anime i've only seen naruto <clears throat> but this from what i've seen of manga it looks like it's out of one which i think is what they're going for <clears throat> but yeah um it's time for the action i forgot it was a prologue <laughs> i'm sorry uh, it's time for actually chapter one slum dreams so, yeah, I imagine that there'd be a, it'd just be a post-apocalyptic world kind of filled with slums after Celestia flooded it. Uh, and it has in parentheses, dark and sad. <laughs> so I guess this is going to be pretty dark and sad. Uh, all right. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. The flood aftermath. Oh, God. Last dragon. Alarm clocks trigger me. Well, at least that's Quest what I think. Last dragon. I'm not sure, but I haven't seen another Drake or Dragoness ever. So stop with the alarm clocks. Not like it would really make a difference if there was. I'm already alone in this world. But anyways, the name is Spike. Spike. Spike the dragon. God damn, you've been working that out. Last part should have been obvious. <laughs> Yes, there really isn't anything remarkable about my life. Turn off the alarm clock! I work for a wage at a job I hate. I haven't actually eaten anything in the last two days. Because rent and water prices have gone through the roof. Jeez. Which has a hole in it, I might add. At least you're hot. <laughs> fact that most ponies can't stand to look at me. So why are they racist a towards dragons? The question. A, a mare friend. <sighs> so yeah. God, is this thing gonna turn a loose? Oh. Oh god. And the coupe de grace? <sighs> the coupe de grace? I'll smell of this diseased extension of rotten wood. This voice actor pronounces things weird It's sometimes. called the docks, and 
like everything else in my life. <laughs> Sucks big time. This cesspool of debauchery and poverty would make even a homeless mayor cringe. And <laughs> most of them do. Hmm. I'm so I'm going to regret this. Thank you, sir. Well, there goes my uh, breakfast. Given, given up all the money you have. I you haven't eaten in two days, dude. That. Yeah. Ponies thrive off of weakness here. If they find out you, you have weak bones, they'll shatter them to bits. I'll just have to take the long way back from work. Still, it's unfortunate that their homes sunk. You hear about it all the time. The artifactual ground given out, the entire building sinking to the bottom of the ocean, families trapped inside as it goes under. I still find it hard to believe that Celestia did all this. Deep down, I want to believe that this is all just a Did you bad have a relationship dream. with her? When you were a Some kid? nightmare where I can just yeah. wake what up made and her go the mad? sweet she, and loving That can't just be of her own fruition. That raised me. But when I open my eyes, I see this ugly truth and the reality that Celestia did There's this. There's more to this. There has to be. There's more to what she did. I just wish I knew what caused her to do this. To change so suddenly, I just... I just I wish that Twilight was still oh, here. Schoolgirl. I'm school sure girl she would have so been odd. able to talk some sense into Celestia. She was, after all, her most faithful student. Yeah, where was Twilight all through all that? If only I had gone with her that day, or convinced her to stay, then things would have been different. Princess, please listen to me! Nightmare Moon is going to rise! You shouldn't worry about silly things like ancient myths and legends. Now, Twilight, I thought we were finished with that Nightmare Moon nonsense. But, 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 Princess! Please, Twilight, there's nothing for you to worry about. Everything is fine. Besides, I need you to be focused for the new task at hand. A, a, a new task? Yes. I need you to go down to a little town called Ponyville and overlook the preparation for the Summer Sun Celebration. This is a very important task that I'm trusting in you, Twilight. Oh. I know you will not disappoint me. Ugh, fine. I'll tell Spike to get everything packed and we'll be out of here in like a few hours. Uh, 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 okay. Actually, I was thinking that Spike would stay here with me. What? Why? But he's my assistant. He needs to come and with that's me. That's why he's going to be staying with me, Twilight Sparkle. You think of him as an assistant and nothing else. It's beginning to worry me that a young mayor of your age still doesn't have any friends. And I think you just use Spike as an excuse not to make any. So I'll be keeping him company until you get back from home. Well, something's off about Celestia. In the can you at least promise to try and talk to some pony while you're there? Fine. Thank you, my student. And don't worry about Spike or I. We'll be fine. I'll see you in a few days, Twilight. Are you sure? She said a few days, but that would be the last time I would see Twilight. She left. Princess Celestia insisted that I assist her until Twilight returned. I didn't think much of it at the time, and felt honored that the princess would want me to assist her. Besides, I thought that it would just be for a week at most. But then, things happened. It ended up being over seven months. And after the floods happened, I knew I'd never get to see you. What happened to twice? Passport, please! Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, s sorry. Here you go. I must have dozed off. Should have gotten more sleep last night. Same. I didn't even realize I was at the checkpoint already. Gates of Canterlot. The divide that separates the uptight aristocrats from us of cloth and poverty. And the only way into the great city. Hmm. It's also the only way for me to get to work. It's funny how some things just never change. And yet, everything is 
different. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm more understanding the world now that's being described. <clears throat> Spike's living in the slums. There's a big class divide in the world after Celestia ruined everything. Is Celestia still in power? Well, yeah, surely. Um, yeah. Huh. <clears throat> I'm moving on to number, to chapter two. <clears throat> this one is called uh, A Better Deal. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm still wondering where Twilight is in all this because something happened to her. There's so much more to this story, I can already tell. It's being hidden. I guess it's up to me to find out. <clears throat> Let's go. Three, two, one, play. Fancy Pants Waters, Equestria's number one distributor of clean drinking water to the is bad in this. <laughs> and also my place of work. Morning, Moon Dancer. A oh, Moon Dancer. Yeah, that's the normal reaction. <laughs> I did say that I'm not seen as very Kinda desirable. Kind of Moon Dancer. But that doesn't stop me from trying. <sighs> Great. Why does everyone hate you? Only pile of paperwork to deal with. I'll be lucky to get half of this done before lunch. Today's going to be such a drag. Okay, Shigamaru. Great. Another tax increase for water and sand mackerel. I'm sure they're gonna love that. Sand mackerel? How does Fancy Pants get away with charging so much? Hey, Dragon. Huh? Mr. Fancy Pants wants to see you. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh my god. What is this man? <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to forget somebody with her... personality. <laughs> Was she the one who did that sexual harassment seminar a few weeks ago? Oh crap, she's saying something and I haven't heard a word of it. Um, just not in agree with her. That always works. And she wants you there in his office immediately. So if you can follow... Excuse me, are you staring at my chest? Crap, she noticed. Stop you get mad at someone staring at your chest when you're wearing that <laughs> shit. Come Sorry, on. Abu, about that. <sighs> you're pathetic. Just follow me and keep your eyes I guess it might be driving. like work uh, yes, regulation. Wh whatever you say, not her fault. Not like she'll notice when her back is turned in. Oh my god. Seriously, did it you got use a way sexual than I thought it would be. And that flank. Damn. She'd be a nice slice of pie if she wasn't made with rotten apples. <laughs> oh my Mr. god. Pants is waiting for you in there. You are to not touch him. You will only speak when spoken to, and you will be on your best behavior at all times. If you do as much as make him frown, I will throw you out of the window. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Funny. I don't have a sense of humor. Ugh, I can tell. <laughs> huh? Jesus. Hey! <sighs> Such of you, don't you think? Excuse me? The docks, my good sir. It's brilliant. Really. The persistence of ponies and their will to survive by any means necessary. I find it quite remarkable, and every time I look out into the docks, I get this sense, this sense of pride, but perhaps I'm getting off topic. Sure, okay, fancy pants. whatever you say, sir. So, I take it you're the dragon? No, I'm a flamingo. <sighs> yes, sir. Remarkable, aren't you? Your kind has always fascinated me. It's a shame they all drowned ten years ago. Oh, I would imagine they, they couldn't fly it. the workers. And of course, my condolences to you and your kind for such a tragedy. Uh, what is wrong thanks, with you, I guess. My most apologies for my secretary if she was in any way hostile towards you. I know she can be a bit rough around the edges, but don't take it personally. She's like that with every pony. If that's the case, then why bother keeping her around? My dear boy, I can give you two reasons. <laughs> but again, sidetracked. But I'm sure that you're curious about why I called wow. you here. Yeah, about that. I need you to do a little job for me. It's really just courier work. Nothing too complicated. I need you to escort this to New Baltimore. Cool briefcase. What's in it? Yeah. That's classified. Oh. <laughs> All you need to know that it's the utmost importance that it reaches my clients in New Don't Baltimore. Don't open it, but... You will not be given the combination to the lock on it. Okay. Nor will you be permitted to open it in any other way. 
If there isn't so much as a scratch on that briefcase when you get to New Baltimore, I will consider it as an act of treason against my company and you'll be punished accordingly. Do you understand me, Dragon? Hmm. Dragon? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm only kidding, my dear boy. There's just some boring papers in there. But papers that will help a lot of ponies. That I can tell you. <sighs> so don't bother yourself by opening it. We won't want to risk losing a page now. Lest I get really angry. I'm not so sure about yeah, this anymore. I'm thrown off by you so hard. Yes, sir. <laughs> good dragon. And of course, when you successfully deliver this briefcase, you'll be heavily compensated for your troubles. I think that a sum of 50,000 bits will be more than generous. Wouldn't you agree? Scratch that. I'm in again. Agreed, sir. Wonderful. May I see your wrist? Sure. H hey, what are you doing? Secure in the briefcase. If you're going to be doing this, I need to make sure the briefcase stays safe. Consider this a little... insurance. Nothing to worry about, really, but... you never know. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not so sure of this anymore. This all seems Who really cares? sketchy. You live in my secretary will escort you to my private name. cargo ship, and will leave you in the hands of my personal security task force. My contact in New Baltimore will meet you there with further instruction. Now you two have fun. Don't question it. Yes. I imagine you do. Huh. Well, <laughs> we got some new characters in there. <laughs> Two new characters. <laughs> Two in one. Uh, okay. I'm <clears throat> okay. Spike's got to deliver a package. A very sketchy package. Uh, I don't... He's getting 50,000 bits. He should be happy. I don't care how sketchy it is. <clears throat> Alright, this is chapter 3. Crimson Waters. That's, is that the place we're going to have to go through to deliver this? Or a place we're going to? Oh, and in parentheses it has somewhat dark blood. Is someone going to attack Spike, or is Spike going to kill someone? I don't know. I guess I'm going to find out. Three, two, one, play. All right, Dragon, we're here. You still have the briefcase? <laughs> oh kind of hard to lose it. Fucking kid. Tough to me. <laughs> don't be a smartass. This is serious business. Now listen to me. Once you get on board, blah, 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 blah. And then if you're hungry, you can... Are you staring at my chest again? Um... Help? Maybe? Pigs! The lot of you! I swear, it's the only thing you males think about. If it's not you, then it's the executives. All those horny sailors. No respect for mayors. Sorry. Not a bad thing. Listen here, you little scab. I could hardly care about what happens to you, but let me remind you again that no harm's to come to the content of that briefcase, or I will skin you alive and tan your hide for my carpet. Do you understand me? God, yeah, I'll guard it with Jesus my life! Jesus Christ. Nails. Such inferiors. Get on the boat and don't screw up. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Crazy mayor. Crazy well, don't worry about that. I got an easy 50,000 bits yeah. to take. And who knows? Maybe this will be like a little vacation. <sighs> Luna knows I need one. Is Luna dead? Did Celestia kill her? <laughs> okay, Spike. What did we learn today? That we can't eat eight pork chops in three minutes without consequences. Why did you do that? It's still tasty, though. Just need to keep my eye on the prize. In a measly three days, I'll be in New Baltimore giving the stupid briefcase to some pony and making my fortune. I'll finally be able to move out of that crummy shack and move into Candlelight. Nothing can ruin this day. So why were you chosen to do this? What the heck is that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, damn. Thing. Moving too fast. We're getting smarter down here. 
Oh, fuck. You guys are a joke. A bunch of amateurs like you can't kill me. I'm too awesome to die. Rainbow Dash? Well, that was boring. Oh, God, I thought these guys would have put more of a fight. Fancy pants must have cheaped out or something. Such a drag, too. This girl is crazy. crazy. I need to get out of here. I should have only used one gun. Hey, you. That's Rainbow Dash. Where do you think you're going? Oh, shit. Goddess, you are one ugly pony. Hmm? What's in the case? The case? I... I... <laughs> I, uh. I... 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 Sometime today, dumbass! It, it, it's classified! They never told me what it was, I swear! Sure they didn't. Now is it still classified? Or do I have to blow away your big boy parts? <laughs> I what? swear! I don't know what's in it! Please, for the love of everything good in the world, don't pull the trigger! Wrong answer, ugly. Rainbow Dash, what on earth do you think you're doing? <sighs> that voice. Oh, holy it's, shit. It's like the voice of an angel. Oh, for God's sake, Rarity. Now, now, let's not be so rash. Don't you think enough Rarity. blood has been spilt today? My goddess. She's beautiful. I didn't know angels were real. Oh, my God. She, she sent, sent from heaven to save me from a speech. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I guess this is Spike, so... Rainbow, did you really have to kill all of them? Nah, who cares? They're all a bunch of crap stains with crappier shots. I mean, if it wasn't me today, it's some other ass had it tomorrow. Uh... I understand that, but I did like you have to make such a mess? Like, I swear, these are new boots, dash. and the goddess Pretty help cool. you if I spot blood on them. Oh, oh no, she's just, just, just crazy as the pegasus! No, this can't be! She's too beautiful to be crazy! Cute girls are never psychos! Oh no, I'm so terrified. May Luna and her so watery grave spare me the unrelenting fury of a mare that's afraid of getting blood on her shoes. I hope that's sarcasm. It always is. Anyways, who the hell cares? This guy's holding out on me. He's not telling me what's in the briefcase. And I gave him a simple and reasonable choice. Reasonable, reasonable choice? She tried to blow my nuts off! Hmm? Shut up! You'd think you'd be quiet to look like a giant iguana. Hey, I I'm not it was an iguana. iguana. I'm a dragon. What the frickin' do? Rainbow? What? Did you threaten to shoot his privates off? Hey, it scares them, doesn't it? And it works 20% of the time. Every time. That doesn't make any sense. Well, we're certainly not going to do that. <sighs> so rash. I know. Uh, hello there, darling. Hello. Oh, I'm God. terribly sorry for my friend's behavior towards you. She can be quite the brute at times. I hope you can forgive her. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. I wonder if she has a cult friend. Got it. Now, I'm sure Dragon is handsome and as smart yep. as you would know that we just want to know the contents of the briefcase. And then we'll be on our way. This is going to suck. Trust me, I would love to, but my employer didn't give me the combination for safety reasons. I didn't think it was worth knowing. Guess I'm going to lose my balls now? What? Of course not! Then what the hell are we gonna do with him? Cut off his hand? Or break it off? Rainbow, you don't got to slice We're not doing off. that either! My roommates are bad. Fuck. I hate <laughs> What? Come along now, Rainbow. And don't forget our dear new friend. Uh... I'm sorry, sir. I didn't quite catch your name. She touched, she touched my, my hand. hand. It, 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 yeah. It's Spike. Spike, huh? What a lovely name. My name is Rarity. And my rather unorthodox friend here is Rainbow Dash. Hello, Rainbow. Go f yourself, Spike. I'm not your friend. Jesus. Rainbow. Would you kindly escort Spike back to the ship? Huh? Oh, God. Sure, whatever. Yeah, Come on, dumbass. Hey, what are you doing? Following orders. Game Welcome to the strong. Rogue Diamond, Spike. Uh, the Rogue Diamond? So that's what the Rogue Diamond is? Is it like the main six? That... I'm going against... Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pause this <clears throat> and then do chapter four. I am terribly sorry. 
fuck. See ya. All right, I think they've quieted down. I think. They may start up again, but this last part is only four minutes, so we should be good. <clears throat> Chapter four, meet the crew. I'm guessing we're going to go meet the rest of the rogue diamond, which is um, looking like it's the main six, like some rebel organization. I don't know. Let's find out. Three, two, one, play. Of course he drops you. How many times has he had a gun pointed at him? Oh fuck! I wouldn't do that if I was you. I'd hate to have to blow a big old hole in your head. Jesus. What do we have here? What's in the briefcase, partner? I don't know. He doesn't know. Me and I'm really starting to get sick of this. Whatever's in this damn thing isn't worth dying for. Mister, I ain't gonna end your laugh unless you give me a reason to. So, just hand He's it over. He's got that badass cowboy. Take your hand over to that fancy boat of yours. It's handcuffed to my <laughs> hand. At this point, you can just cut off my damn hand and let me get back to my normal life. They'll do it. If you say so. Yeah. Give me a minute, sugar cube. I gotta go fetch my hand. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Wait. I, I, I wasn't being serious. Please don't cut my hand off. Ah. You got my hope all high up. I should just shoot you for lying. Please don't. Jesus Christ. Jack, please stop teasing They're so guests. hostile. Hmm? Oh, he's already frightened enough as it is. When are we meeting Fluttershy? <gasps> she really is an angel. Spike, you gotta <laughs> tone it down. Uh, why can't I ever hold on to the spell? Oh, spare me. Why should we even give a crap about how he feels? It's not like we're keeping him. As soon as we get that thing off of your wrist, your ass is history. Rainbow. Oh. Relax, RD. I'll get the thing off of him. Just give me a second to grab my stuff. Then I'll see what I can do about cutting that thing off. Don't worry. That thing is the handcuff. Okay. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Well, fuck. <laughs> you gonna get out of there? <clears throat> Did you get shots for? Uh... shot in the middle of... And where in the hell did these guys How is he gonna survive this? I guess thick scales. I thought you were keeping an eye out for other ships. Hey, who died and nominated me look out? Both of you be quiet for two seconds. Applejack, take Spike inside. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> she's about to go off. I've got the materials to make these things. <clears throat> and you oh, fuck. ruined them. Oh, crap. <laughs> Powerful are you? I want to see Twilight's magic power now. Oh sure, Jesus. I have all the fun. I could have taken those. Did you say you were out of ammo? Hey, I still have my boot knife. So you were going to take on an entire platoon of armed sailors with a nap. Yeah. You're an idiot. Take that <laughs> to no one. <sighs> Beg your pardon? How Wait, the fuck are you are alive? You Yeah, you respect badass. Okay, how the fuck did he survive that? <laughs> Guess I'll find out in the fifth part. <clears throat> we'll do that next time. Because uh, I don't want this video to be super long. Yeah. Alright, but yeah, Rogue Diamond. It's pretty interesting so far. Uh, 
it's really cool to see their takes on the main six and on this on Equestria on the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll finish it up in the next part. <clears throat> see you guys there. Peace.